Hi there, my name is Gardner, your friendly neighborhood developer advocate with Linode. Ant Media Server is this really cool open source project that lets you stream WebRTC or RTMP protocol uh, video to the web. I never thought I needed something like this in my life until I found this project and wow, this is gonna solve a bunch of problems. <laughs> so let's talk about this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create a Linode account if you don't have one. Uh, if you don't have one, you can actually use the link in the description to get free credit to get you started. Once you have your Linode account set up and you're logged into the cloud management dashboard, you can go to the marketplace here on the left. So let's click on that. And you're going to want to select the Ant Media server here. Then we're going to scroll down. Now you can only select uh, Ubuntu 20.04 here. So let's go ahead and skip down here. We're gonna select a Linode region that is close to us in proximity. Since I'm in the Northeast Un uh, United States, I'm gonna choose Newark, New Jersey. And now we're gonna to go to our Linode plan. Now, depending on what you plan on doing with this uh, media streaming server, you're going to need uh, different hardware. So if you just plan on doing WebRTC coordination, you're not gonna need a whole bunch of, uh, of resources. But if you're gonna be doing like ingesting and restreaming, you'll want something that is closer to fit your needs. I'm gonna go with the four gigabyte Linode uh, we'll see if that works and you can scale up if that doesn't quite fit your needs uh, after the fact. We'll continue to scroll down here. And uh, the only thing that we need to do here, we can give it a label if we want, but the default here makes a lot of sense. And then we can uh, provide a root password. And this is what we're going to use to log into our machine if you know uh, we need to log in over SSH. So let's go ahead and hit create Linode. It, it really is that easy to get started here. And we'll give it a moment for Linode to provision our new uh, VPS. And once that's provisioned and, and running, it will install the application, which shouldn't take more than five minutes. One of the really nice things about this project is it allows you to stream in uh, H.264, H.265, or VP8. Uh, so many different codecs that are supported uh, using this uh, media server. It's pretty awesome. All right, so it looks like our Ant Media Server has been set up uh, and ready to go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open a new tab and we're going to paste in our IP address of our Linode, which you can find right here. Uh, you just click this little clipboard button and you can uh, go ahead and open a new tab, paste that right in. And we're going to add colon 5080 to the end of our IP address. And that's going to allow us to access our, uh, our Ant Media Server. So if we hit enter, you can see we have a uh, our Ant Media Server first time creation uh, account creation screen. So we're going to provide our name. Uh, we're going to provide a username. We're going to provide a password, and we're going to confirm that password. And then we're going to create our account. And now it says we can log in. So. All right. So we are logged in. All right, so we're here on our dashboard. Um, now what we wanna do is go over here to uh, live app and we're gonna create a new live stream. We're gonna do live stream. We're gonna type in here uh, demo stream, why not? And hit enter and we're gonna create our demo stream. And now if we click here and go to copy publish URL Then we can open up OBS, which I'm actually using to uh, screen capture here. But we can see that if we go uh, to settings and go to stream, select uh, a custom one, and we'll put in our key here. But we're actually going to move everything from the slash forward uh, into the stream key uh, field. And we'll hit apply and hit OK. And then if we hit start streaming, you see we're actually streaming and you can see that it says broadcasting here now. And while we're broadcasting, we can actually uh, start recording uh, MP4s or uh, WebM files. And this will let us uh, play back our stream session after the fact. And we can see that if we go over to uh, our uh, this page, we can see that we're actually streaming what OBS is seeing right now, which is pretty awesome. That now we're in here, so if I were to drag over a different window, like Steam or something, you can see that 
it will move over here once the stream catches up with OBS. And one of the nice things about this uh, AMP Media Server is you can actually use this to uh, record uh, RT WebRTC sessions. So like if you're doing conference calls or something like that, you can actually use this to record each of the streams independently. That's really cool. Uh, I'm a big fan of this uh, service and it, I'm going to keep exploring this and see how I can take some of this functionality and integrate it into my workflow for my YouTube channel. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, and we're verging on uh, quadruple inception here. So I'm going to end the video there. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate you guys being here. If you like this video, if you have any questions, let us know down in the comments. Uh, we try to uh, hang out. We try to make sure everything's uh, all good here. Uh, yeah, we're really getting into Inception territory. But that's going to do it for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>